A Russian website claims there was an attempted assassination of Tucker Carlson. Oh, here are the details. A young man reportedly just has been arrested in Moscow in connection with an attempted assassination of Tucker. According to reporter Simone Atiba, the man who has been detained was reportedly being paid by UKR intelligence to plant a, uh, an explosive device in a vehicle used by Tucker while he was there to interview Vlad. Wow, guys. This just goes to show you how far the CIA's reaches. Okay. And I know he's the son of a CIA guy, but they didn't want him talking to Vlad. Okay. Maybe not CIA. It might be Ukraine. Obviously, because like Ukraine wouldn't want Vlad's voice and, and message to get her out to get out, right? Here's a tweet by Simi, Sim, Simon Atiba, the chief White House correspondent at today's News Africa in Washington. Uh, breaking. <laughs> That's funny. I see his last name. I think of Abibo. Uh, attempted assassination of Tucker Carlson. A man has just been arrested in Moscow, accused of being paid by Ukrainian intelligence to plant an explosive device on Tucker's vehicle. I mean, that's the same as CIA, pretty much. They're all in cahoots. And assassinate the prominent American journalist while he was there to interview Vlad. Yeah. A video has just been released showing 35-year-old man by the name of v Vasiliev, Vasiliev uh, Peter. Peter Vasiliev Peter Alexandrovich who claimed he was ordered by the main directorate of intelligence of UK, Ukraine's Ministry of Defense in November of 2023 to take an explosive device to the parking garage of the Four Seasons Hotel in Moscow and place it under the vehicle used to transport Tucker. Wow, so they, they knew about it back then. They knew about it long before Tucker e ever announced it. You know, because they're, they're again, they're spying on his phone, right? Mr. Alex uh, Alexievich claims he was going to be paid $4,000 for completing the task of attaching the explosive device to Carlson's vehicle, but he was detained at the planning process. Near the end of the videotaped confession, the stone-faced alleged criminal admits his target was American journalist Tucker Carlson and says, I'm sorry for what I did. Now this seems a little psyopy. Oh, he's got Duper's Delight. Look at that. This is this is not real. Hold on, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Russia. I'm calling you out when this is fake, okay? <laughs> okay, guys. If you guys have ever seen Watch the Water, okay? You know, by Stu Peters. You know, the guy that makes up half the fake. Half of his stuff is made up, by the way. Um, yeah, he likes to spread fear. And he likes to take like, little quotes from 8 plus 9 and make it his. He made a thing called Watch the Water. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just two people sitting at a chair talking to each other. Okay, him, he's interviewing someone. Okay, Both of them have a little you know, thing like this off to the side. The whole time, they're just like, hey, you know? Hey, let, let, me, let, me read, let, me read, let me read this again with that same smirk. And you tell me if you believe what I'm saying or not, okay? A young man has reportedly just been arrested in Moscow in connection with an attempted assassination of Tucker Carlson. According to reporter Simona Atiba, the man has been arrested was reportedly being paid by Ukrainian intelligence to plot an explosive device in a vehicle used by Tucker while he was there to interview Russian President Vlad. Now you tell me what that, if that's believable or not. It's not. It's, it's, some, it's called duper's delight. Those who are in, knowingly deceiving someone, they get off on it. They love it. They love lying. They love lying just like Tim Pool. Okay, it's called duper's delight. And you can you can already see it, the smirk on his face. You see that? This is not real. Uh, sorry, Russia, but we're not buying this. <laughs> I'm not buying this. You know, I like you guys, but come on, you got to get get better people, get better liars. Look at this. The report has not been verified at this time. The report claims he is a Russian working for Ukrainian intelligence. So you're saying that this guy working for Ukrainian intelligence, if he spills the beans, they would kill him. You're telling me that he's been captured. He's not even chained up. He not Usually they're in cages, right? Remember Brittany Griner, that drug lord, right? Remember they put her in, in chains in a cage. How, where is he? How come he's just, he's in his sweats. He's not, he's not handcuffed, nothing. And he's got dupers delight like a mofo. Look at that. Yeah, he's laughing. He's smiling. He's smirking. This is not real. Kinoka reported uh, on the attempted assassination. 
where did they get this guy this doesn't make any sense this, this seems like okay so uh, if this is coming from a russian media how did they get the video this is supposedly a, a confession video they, they arrested someone they arrested someone they confess oh yes i go to kill tucker carlson i don't know this 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 reeks of um this reeks of like oh we're just gonna do whatever we can to make ukraine look bad i don't know guys you guys uh, take it for what it is i already gave you all the information you guys do whatever you want with that information if you believe it's real then it's real if it's not then 